Hope you're doing really well. Hope you're having a good week. This week we are finishing up a commission that I actually received a few months ago, but this week is the deadline. I'm finishing up this piece for band. It's a beginner piece. It's quite simple, but I have most of it down. I'm just figuring out a few things of the middle section and once that's done, then we're going to do all the proper stuff and proofread all the parts proofread the score, make sure all the notes are good, make sure all the ranges are good, because if this is a beginner piece, ranges can't be too big. It has to be achievable by young students. Also, excuse the messy desk today. I've been wanting to make more of these scoring vlogs more often, and the only hang up with them is it takes a long time for me to edit all these videos. And that's really the biggest bottleneck when trying to get these videos out, is just the time it takes to put them together. I edit the videos when I can, and you know, some weeks are more full than others. So what I'm thinking is making these score scoring vlogs just a little bit more run and gun, a little less polished, so that I can get more of them out more often. And let me know if that's something that you're interested in seeing. The whole point of these scoring vlogs is to just document me making music on a regular basis and hopefully I can get it to the point where we can start getting those on the channel. This right here on my desk is a synthesizer which we'll go into in a later video. But for now, we're focused on this right here. Okay, so I have this one little bit where to come up with a harmony for that and ending bit. We already moved to the F, we can't resolve again to the F. What if we don't come from F? Let's move to D minor there. It's either my voice leading or the harmony is just not good, but that was weird. Yeah, let me change my inversions. Let me check my voicings. Yeah, I don't need the A. I, I think what I'm running into is that the D and the C clash a little bit too much because the clarinets are playing middle C when they play the melody and the tenor sax and the horn play the D right above it. So I think that's what's rubbing it up against it because the rest of the voicing is fine. It's just that. Now the rest of the instruments are playing in this octave. So if that were the case, that's, that's kind of nice. But because the melody is being played in octaves, decision here. Ugh. All right, made it home from school. Today I have the rest of the day to myself. So first I'm going to make lunch for Madeline and I for when she gets home and then I'll finish the piece. Let's get to it.
in this piece, there was this whole middle section that was bothering me. I needed to find a way to break up the form of the entire piece and still make it interesting. And what I had written initially was just stalling too much. There was too much mm, dead air. Fortunately, I came up with a different way for the lines to move from one into the other using fragments of material I had already come up with. And that's what I'm doing here. Right now I'm taking the time to put in breath marks and stuff like that so that things just aren't missing because these are beginning beginner kids so you have to let them know what the articulation is supposed to be, let them know exactly what the dynamic is supposed to be, let them know uh, when to breathe, throw in enough rests so that they can breathe, stuff like that. The final part of the process is going in and checking that all the information that's needed in the parts are in there and that everything is as clear as day. So here I'm formatting all the parts, making sure the score looks good, making sure things look the same in the parts as they do in the score, looking at page sizes, the amount of content in each page, page turns, bar numbers for every bar, just the typical things that would make rehearsal go really smoothly in real life. Thanks so much for watching. Catch me in the next scoring vlog. Like I said, I'm trying to make these more often, so I'm making these more, I'm making these a little less polished. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care.